I think it's really interesting when you consider the, the rest of the way you hydrate yourself and, and how you prepare your food um, and the use of, or potential use of purified water. Most people these days, you see them running around all day carrying plastic bottles of water and so forth to hydrate themselves because they, they recognise now that hydration is a good thing and, and I would agree. Um, but you never see the same people fill their kettle up with bottled water. You certainly never see them wash their fruit or their vegetables under the tap with bottled water uh, or cook with it, apart from when they go you know, um, abroad sometimes. You might see them using it in cooking abroad. But in the UK, that's, it just never occurs. So remember, I already said that a, something like a third of the water you're going to get is going to be from the food you eat. And if, you're, if you've got a food that's, uh, that you're going to wash because you want to wash away pesticides and fertilise of it, and, and then, then you're covering it with chlorine and all these other chemicals, and then you're cooking it um, or steaming it with these other chemicals, you have to ask yourself, is that a great thing? When you can use pure water and know that then you're only getting the chemicals from the food and the water from the food that you're eating.